one thing that is missing from our functionality is that we do not have any flash messages so when a user add edits or delete we do not show any confirmation message to the user well we can improve the ui user by using the flash messages so i'm going to use this one provided by the tailwind css so i'm going to copy this in our view i will wrap it up in the if condition and show it only if the session has message and within this if condition i'm going to paste this up and then i'll replace this p tag text with the actual flash messages and there we go now within our component i'm going to use the flash messages also for the edit i can use i can set the flash message over here i'll set it with this key and then the actual message similarly for the add as well i can i'll reformat it and i'll set the message over here item edit successfully in same way for delete i can do in the delete message over here and change the message like this so let us test this in the browser so now if i edit this and click on save there we go we get the flash message if i click on the add and add an item click on save and there we go we get the flash message again and now if i click on delete confirm it and there we go we get the message that item has been deleted successfully now another thing i want to do is that i would also want to have the close button like this so again i'm going to copy the html related to it and paste it in our view over here what i would have to do is that i would also have to change this class to add a relative class over here and i would change this red to white so let us see if how it looks like i'm going to add a new item and if i click on save we see that we get that cross message well uh, let us implement this functionality i'm going to use alpine js it is already installed when we install jetstream so we do not need to install it again so i'm going to set the data for this div to sh and, and set the show to true and i will set that this should be shown only when show is true which is by default and then i will have a click method on this cross and i will set that show to false so let us test this so if i click on edit and if i click on cross we see that flash message has disappeared if i click on delete uh, we get this dialog box however we can use another dialog box provided by the jetstream which is confirmation model instead of using this dialog model so now if i reload it click on delete we get this better model all right so with that our functionality for implementing crud with livewire and jetstream has been completed I hope you have enjoyed this series and have got a good understanding of how easy it is to use livewire to build great application so if I, if you have enjoyed watching this series please do like and subscribe to my channel and you can also watch other videos related to the laravel hope you have enjoyed thank you very much for watching
this series